Hi everyone, Frederico from Radenhorn Petersham with your latest monthly market wrap. Today we're joined by Christine from Peanut Butter Bar in Leichhardt, which is the first peanut butter bar in the world. Is that right, Christine? That is absolutely correct. Well, thank you so much for joining us. You've got an awesome selection. You've got vegan stuff as well. And let's say those people that haven't visited here yet, when they do come, what's the most popular dessert item? Well, we, we focus on our high protein dessert line. So we're a dessert bar that's basically re-engineered everybody's favorite desserts using the natural power of plant-based and dairy-based proteins, swapping out all the naughty ingredients for, for clean ingredients like protein powders, like coconut oils, like no refined sugar, honey, maple syrup. So the must-have product is the skillet deep dish cookie, which I think you've had before. I right? think I've had that more than once. <laughs> yeah, so that's an individual skillet that comes in a hot uh, pan with a scoop of high-protein gelato and a shot of peanut butter, of course. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for joining us. And you're open every day? We're open seven days a week and we open pretty late at night, so it's a great place to hang out on a Friday and Saturday night. Terrific. Thank you so much. Now, in regards to property, there is increased competition among major banks to capture investor lending. So what that means is the gap between owner occupier and investor loans is narrowing and therefore a great opportunity to be looking at purchasing an investment property if that has been on the radar. Now would be a really good time to be thinking about that. Knight Frank's latest wealth report incorporates a new city wealth index. What that city wealth index examines are four critical measures of cities most popular with high net worth individuals, current wealth, investment, lifestyle and future economic performance, of which Sydney ranks 11th. A recent article by Shane Oliver, Chief Economist at AMP Capital, has revealed that the Royal Commission induced credit slowdown could push the next interest rate until 2020. Coming up in April, we've got number 12, Bray Street in Erskineville, a two bedroom terrace with a great backyard just off King Street in Newtown. We've also got 31 School Parade in Marrickville, a four bedroom home, great big backyard, and a wide tree lined street. If there's anything I can help you with, please call me on 0450 100 100. And thank you for watching another Life in Petersham episode.